everyone, this is Kiwi G and I'm here with another Artist Alley vlog. Now, I wanted to take some time to talk about the differences and pros and cons of doing small conventions and large conventions because I have recently just come back from doing a whole bunch of them, to be honest. There will be a time code at the bottom of the screen to skip to, you know, when the tips really start because, you know, I wanted to to tell a couple of stories first. You want to listen to the stories? Keep listening. At first, I wanted to apologize to some people because um, I told a couple of people that I was going to be making a video about acrylic charms. That's been that's coming super soon. I just you know another convention came up and I I, I thought why why not why not do it? I still have stock left. I might as well do it. And um, things kept being pushed further and further back. And um, and. The last con I went to, SunnyCon, gave me a really good idea for this video. So um, I thought of doing that first, just because I'm still in the mood for it. And then um, the next one will be the Charms video, 100%. So I'm done with conventions for a couple of months. I, I don't really have much stock left. I don't have anything planned for the immediate future. And um, But I just finished doing MCM London, Yorkshire Cosplay, Comic Con, and Sunny Con all in the span of 3 weeks. And um, it's tiring. I'm very very tired. And it was so much fun. And uh, I actually met a couple of people who recognized me from YouTube. That was really really weird and really really strange. So bottling down to it, I had indescribable amounts of good fun at all those conventions. You know, like there were some good times and there were some bad times, but that would be the same for any convention really. It's like not, none of them will really be excused from it. And um, and I was I was kind of scared at first to doing to doing a small con. MCM London has a total attendance of 133,000 people every single year but you know Yorkshire Cosplay Con has about 5,000 maybe 5,000 a day that's what their website says so maybe like 10,000 the whole weekend maybe 8,000 you never know whoever comes back twice. To me the experience of moving because I've said it before, MCM London is my first convention ever. Why? Um, why did I decide to do that first? So moving from MCM London to a convention that is quite small in comparison is can be incredibly scary to some people, you know. The, all those basic questions come up like, are you going to make enough? Um, would it be too quiet? Would there be any people there who would be interested in your stuff, you know? all those questions are normal and they will come up for any con. I've done so many and I still think the same thing about MCM London. So I don't know what that tells you. But actually I ended up having a really good time at Yorkshire and Sunny Con. You know like I, I want to go back in a year when it happens again but I, I, had, I had indescribable amounts of fun there. It was different than I expected like a good kind of different of course so that's why like I decided to make this kind of like shortish thing hopefully shortish thing to kind of like to kind of like talk about my experiences doing a big con and a smaller con so let's start with big conventions you know the, the pros there are quite obvious you know you have you have a huge convention hall you know you have hundreds and thousands of people visiting at least one out of that hundred thousand will look at you and think that you are cool and then they'll get your stuff you know like the odds are with you and um, you know it's busy there's always people on the floor there's always cosplays to see and the quiet moments you know when everyone goes to lunch and everyone takes a break which happens you know around lunchtime and towards the end of the day is busy you know, there's always people walking in front. You never know who's gonna just stop and 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 um, look at your store or, or when you're gonna get a sale. You know, it's all like all oh, very like antsy, just like like ooh, what if this person will stop by? Oh, oh, that person's got high cue cosplay, so maybe they will see my stuff and um, and get excited and want to buy it. You know, it's um, you're always on your toes. I can't snap. Why did I try? So you're always on your toes, and um, that's definitely you know 
you know the dose of adrenaline helping you stay awake without any food or water or just I don't I personally don't eat when I do conventions that's not very smart so there are negative things as well to doing a large convention like MCM London you know one of the more obvious ones will have to be the cost of it all you know you the table especially if you want to do fan art the table itself is quite expensive and even the artist alley tables are rising every year which is fine you know the convention is only getting bigger and bigger you know they need to they need to get money to get everything done and that's that's fair like i i i'm not too happy about the amount of money i have to pay to go to mcm every year to to table but at the same time it's it's I can't argue. That's a lot of money to give in one go and you have absolutely no idea in the months in between getting the table and going to the convention that you will actually make your money back. It's quite stressful. It's it's quite anxiety inducing and it's it's not really the best of times if you're like an anxious little bean like I am. And the other negative thing will probably have to be your competition. It's a large, large space. There are probably hundreds of other artists scattered around different places of the convention floor that you would never really notice. People, people go to these conventions, you know, they have a budget. Everyone, everyone knows that. Everyone's been there, you know, you have all your money in your wallet that you've been saving to spend on this entire three days and then you see everything that you want and you can't decide what to buy. And it's difficult, I, I know it, I felt it. I. I've suffered the same as everyone else just all the stuff that you want but you can't have because of money problems so that makes the the competition tougher because everyone starts thinking really really hard about what they want to buy and then um, and then you lose a couple of sales all of that is, all of that is natural I definitely enjoy large conventions like MCM you know you're never bored there's always something to do and if you have downtimes at your table just get up and go walk around and then you see the most amazing cosplay in in all this room just buy a bunch of stuff for yourself you know you get all the good things about having a large car but you have also all the bad things as well you know the money the cost um, whether you make it all back is really scary and, and the definite concentration of the competition that you have. Now moving on to the smaller cons, I did Yorkshire Cosplay Con and also Sunny Con. And both of them have an attendance number of roughly around 5,000 to 10,000 and um, that's definitely a lot smaller than 133,000 people at MCM. So to me as someone who's only done MCM London and and nothing else you know going to a small arena or or this or the stadium that sunny con was at moving to that small space was quite jarring for me i was definitely worried at first about how is it gonna go or what am i going to do it was also my first time tabling completely alone let's start with the positive things that i felt going to these smaller conventions for the first time the busy times were definitely busy i was swarmed i had a little crowd in front of my table and i was always dipping under the table and getting the prints out and like and i got head rushed because i was an idiot and put everything under the table so if i wanted to give something to them i would have to go under the table and come up and it was just this giant head rush and it was not great at sunny con i decided to just put everything on the chair the empty chair that i had next to me why the hell not i have an empty chair anyway and this was the thing that excited me the most about doing the smaller conventions and at a big place like mcm london when someone says that they're going to walk around and come back no offense to any of them it happens to me as well it's just that mcm is a giant arcade of a thousand distractions meant for you to spend all your money which is fine and I don't really blame people for not coming back, but I guess this is what I'm going for anyway. Like at a, at a much smaller venue, at a at a, you know a much smaller floor space, you know you can't help but pass the same table over and over again. And and to be honest, every time I saw someone come back, I would like wave, I would say hi, and you know they would come over. We have a good conversation. That's the thing about going to a smaller convention that I definitely enjoy is all the great conversations I had. You know, I've met so many wonderful, wonderful people 
at SunnyCon and Yorkshire Cosplay Con. They would come back and visit, they would they would say hi, they would come back just to just to talk and it was it definitely kept what would have been a bit of a boring con quite lively, definitely. And and I I would I remember them. I remember quite a few of them actually because they were so sweet and they and they were so nice and 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 adorable and so so sweet. I I I just I, I love I love all of them. I love all of you. I I I'm just getting emotional. <laughs> you know at MCM where it's always quite loud to have a conversation even with the people who are sitting next to you. The thing that I quite liked the most about doing the smaller cons is that I had some time to talk to the people who liked my art, not just because I'm not gonna sit here and just be like, so what is it about my art that you like? No, it was just more about like, oh, you like this show too? I like this show too, and I watched like this episode and like read this chapter. Have you read this chapter? Not only was it nice to have some quiet times to talk to the customers, I actually had more time to talk to the other artists that there are in in the space, you know? At Yorkshire Cosplay Con especially, you know, on the first day, I sat in a row with six different artists. Um, on the second day, our seating, our table arrangements changed a bit. Um, that was a whole other, whole other thing. But it was it, the slight disorganization aside. It was still quite nice. And on that first day, when the quiet times came up, we had a good chance to talk to each other about things that we liked, things that you know that we drew, you know, or how did you draw this, how did you make that, that looks really cool. And um, on the last day at Yorkshire Cosplay Con, I think I traded with pretty much everyone. And another thing that I felt definitely doing the two small conventions I went to is less competition. Because take MCM London for example, you know, in their comic village, they have, without a doubt, a good 100, 150 artists in their comic village alone. That's not counting all the other dealers that are scattered around on the convention floor that are different to Comic Village. I don't think I would be wrong to say that there are a good 200, maybe 300 if we're, if we're stretching it. 300 artists at MCM, you just don't notice them, they're just kind of like hidden somewhere, you know what I mean? I know SunnyCon has about 60 artists, 60 artist tables only. And I'm not too sure about Yorkshire, but I think the numbers are pretty much the same. So you can see the difference between, you know, the 200 artists and let's say about the 60 in, um, in the smaller conventions. And, and yeah, um, I definitely think that the, the less visual distractions do help you a little bit. And that kind of moves on to the last point that's tying everything together. Profit. How much are you going to make? Do you only aim for the larger conventions or the smaller conventions? Do you only do the large ones and ignore the small ones to avoid all like avoid all risk of losing anything? This is a bit difficult because I feel from this entire month that it all boils down to one thing and it is unfortunately luck. MCM London, without a doubt, was always a sort of like stable number to me. I, 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 I knew the scene really well and I knew what would sell, what wouldn't sell and um, my number of sales has always been quite consistent with MCM. I've, I, but I've been quite lucky. But the really weird thing about my experience this whole month is that I've managed to actually match the same number of sales that I had at MCM. At Yorkshire, I nearly had a good third more sales than I did at MCM which was absolutely insane how was that possible? I'm still thinking about it pausing that for one second though I know I just said that I've made the same number of sales at all the three conventions I went to this month but that doesn't really mean that I'm gonna sit here and be like everything is gonna be fine sometimes it won't be. Sometimes you're there and what you have to sell just isn't really interested to the people who are there and that's quite unfortunate. Sometimes, you know, um, it's just a bad con weekend. I, I, I'm sitting here and saying these things about my number of sales but I also know for a fact that some other artist friends of mine that I met at MCM, at Yorkshire and SunnyCon didn't really do so well. 
some did better, and congrats to them. But like, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what makes it tick. To be honest, this all taught me that um, you know doing smaller conventions outside MCM London won't be the most damaging thing in the world. But I also know that sometimes a convention could be too small, that you have a very small concentrated group of people and they don't want to buy anything or sometimes a convention could be too big and all those people in there are just like closing their wallets tight and they don't really want to open it really it all boils down to luck I I don't really know how else to say it I will add on my personal note that I am quite lucky because my convention stock has quite a wide range of something for everyone and a comment that I got quite often was my table had everything that they wanted which means they couldn't buy anything and I said that's fair. Let's say for example if I were to go to a gaming convention, a convention that's strictly you know about games, I would definitely suffer more than anything because I don't have any gaming merchandise with me minus mostly anime, cartoons, maybe a bit of games but all those games are a bit old now let's be real. I'm aware that the f the overall tone of this video is that I've, I've spun quite a positive thing for smaller conventions and I have to admit that I'm quite won over by the small conventions you know to some people 10,000 people isn't really small but when you when you're sitting in MCM London the whole time it, it will definitely seem small and to a lot of people it is probably quite small so to summarize you know for the larger conventions you, you have the the wider audience to appeal to you have more opportunities to sell yourself you you know you're definitely never gonna be bored because there are people constantly around you and your quiet times are definitely gonna be quite busy you're gonna be on your toes and it's definitely a wild roller coaster from start to finish but you know it also comes with the cost, you know, for bigger, fancier conventions. The tables are definitely going to cost a lot. And, um, and the competition will most definitely be there, you know. On a side note, I just read that Anime Expo has 600 artists! Oh my god! I would like to go to Anime Expo one day to table, but that definitely made me scared. I'm gonna try it though, I'm gonna try it. In a year, two years, five years, I don't know, one day I'll go, one day I'll try it. It's a room of 600 artists, holy shit. And for the smaller conventions, yes, you have a tighter audience, you know, and you, you have to appeal to them and you don't really have many other chances, but, you know, you have more time to talk to your customers, make friends with the artists next to you. It's definitely a warmer, kind of like close, probably a little bit more like a family sort of feeling and I definitely enjoyed that because it was a nice change of pace from MCM. But the cons are definitely, um, you have less opportunities to sell yourself, you have less opportunities to sell your goods and the quiet times are so quiet. I fell asleep once at Sunny Con. I fell asleep for like two minutes. I jerked myself away. And the last point is that if you're worried about profit and such like that, I managed to make more at Yorkshire Cosplay Con than I ever did at MCM London, which is wild. And I want to say that as a point to to try and encourage you, not to scare you, to to encourage you that it is possible. You never never know. It really all boils down to luck all you gotta do is try and uh, I kind of hope that this shed some perspective on the whole small cons versus big cons or something I definitely enjoy both and I definitely want to do more of both kinds of those conventions it it was definitely just a really good month overall very tiring but a good month overall and finally a big thank you to all my patreon supporters shout out to Jazz Reckling Turtle, Pia, Dublate16, and Remy Rem. If you guys would like to have your names featured in any of my videos or to get exclusive speed paints or cool art for me in general, I hope you check out my Patreon because I've got stuff like that there. And uh, honestly, thank you guys so much for watching. This video was a lot of fun to do. It was nice to talk about all the things that have been in my mind ever since the end of SunnyCon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.